Third round highlights from the Web.com Tours Chiquita Classic held at River Run Golf and Country Club in Davidson, North Carolina. Oversized produce seems to be a theme at the Chiquita Classic all week long. Hudson Swafford on the 15th from well off the green using the putter though. And it is effective as he rolls in that birdie. He did not play last week, so needs a strong finish to put himself in the money race to earn back his PGA Tour card. Colt knows he's already locked up that card thanks to a playoff he was in last week. He did finish second, but it's enough money to finish in the 25. And take a look at this beautiful approach shot into the par 5 18th. It was almost an albatross, but he'll have to settle for the tap-in eagle as he enters Sunday at 10 under overall, five off the lead. Scott Pinckney on the 10th. He began this week 42nd in the money race with a solo fourth. Is projected to improve to 14, so he needs a good week. Every shot counts, as they say, as he rolls in a long one there on 10. He did the same on 12, and then we'll head over to 13, staying with Pinckney, looking for back-to-back -back birdies here. And he gets this one to drop as well, finishing two under on the day. 12 under overall as Scott Pinkney sets his sight on the PGA Tour next season. John Peterson, this on 15, sitting at 12 under, just trying to get up and down for a par save. Well, how about a chip and birdie instead for Peterson? Remember, he was the money winner in the Web.com Tour Finals last year. So trying to get right back to the same position for Stas on the PGA Tour next year adam hadwin has already locked up his card and he was already your overnight leader five under on his front nine thanks to this birdie right at the turn take a look at this bomb he did slow down on the back nine though and he trails by one heading into sunday but like i said he already has his card locked up so he gets to relax a little bit during these finals greg chalmers though on the 13th always nice to see this veteran in contention a beautiful approach shot here on the 13th, he would not be able to convert that for birdie, but he was dialed in with the irons all day long. As we can show you on the 17th, par three, the fourth toughest hole on the course, only five birdies have been made here all day long. This is Chalmers late in the afternoon as he takes this one behind the pin, gives himself a great look for birdie. He did birdie 15, so birdieing the 17th, We'll put him to 14 under par. That's one clear of the field. He is projected to take over the money list in the finals if he can convert this lead into a win Sunday.